You are listening to the ERP, Organizational Change Journal, a podcast brought to you by Nestle and Associates. When you go through an ERP organizational change process, are there ever any conflicts, Brett, or is everything more, is it more typical that everything's kumbaya and handholding and stacking hands and everything is just great? <laughs> never, <laughs> never. Uh, yeah. there, there's always a change. And one of the things that as a project manager, and I'll be honest with you, most of the customers I work with generally do not take up organizational change. However, it's necessary activities that need to happen. So you typically in my project plans, I have activities that are highlighted in blue. And the customer will look at that and say, oh, what are these activities? I said, these are your activities. These are your OCM activities that you need to perform. Yeah. Well, what is all this about? And I said, you know, this needs to happen regardless. And I'm really probably, I hate to use the word, keeping it very, very simple from an organization change perspective. But if you don't know what's changing, you can't manage it. So not only do you need to do a product fit gap, but also as important, doing an organizational fit gap. Mm-hmm. Understanding, okay, maybe from a functionality perspective, yeah, this all fits. From an organization perspective, our world is changing. Yeah. And how is that world changing? Is it in terms of, okay, we used to do it in, in this order. Now it's going to be done in another order in terms of how the process is going to be executed. Before, it was kind of seamless and in touch point because we've customized it over the years. Now, we're going to have to be more involved. Uh, There are more checkpoints. There are more workflows now that we need to do uh, than what we've done before. Also, we used to have one person responsible for this business process. Now it's going to be split out between multiple business processes. So knowing what those changes are going to be will help you manage that change and then drive your input into the trainings because it's not just technical training or software training you're doing. It's also business process training that you need to do. What are the operational procedures that need to change? Understanding what's changing is that first step. Knowing what those organizational gaps will be, that'll help drive what those changes and what enablement you need to do downstream. Yeah. Good answer. 100% on spot. Well, it just took me 15 years to figure it out. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) You make it, it, and again, that's part of the practitioner role, right? Yeah. You you learn on the job, but as you do, uh, you get better. Yeah. Well, if you have the right attitude. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is a, you know, ERP organizational change, you know, being a practitioner in this field, you're either in it for a short period, or you're in it for a long period, and you take your lumps along the way, and you get better and better. That's just the reality. 